Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Videopreneur, and it's day 15. This is part one. We're gonna have uh, probably two parts on this uh, on this day. Right now, what I'm holding is the torsion bar. So what we are doing on the front end is the frame is off to the sandblaster. It's gonna get sandblasted, primed, and painted. And when you see it next, it's gonna be looking, looking awesome. So what we're doing right now is breaking down the upper and lower control arms taking it apart, breaking it down as, as uh, best we can, getting rid of the worn out pieces. The truck rode pretty darn nice for a 60 year old vehicle, but we're gonna replace everything. And uh, that way when we put it back together, we know it's, it's tight and it's uh, gonna ride really nice and, and I don't have to worry about breaking down on the side of the road. What's interesting is um, what you see right there on the front end is the torsion bar. So the torsion bar came out like a lot of cars back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s had torsion bars. General Motors in 1960 came out on their light duty trucks, the, which my truck is a 61 uh, Chevy C10, which was a light duty truck. So 60, 61, two, and 63 had the torsion bar front end, and then in 64, they did away with it. Uh, I've heard rumors that there was a lawsuit with uh, Chrysler Corporation. Don't know if that's true. I haven't done any research on that, but a lot of vehicles in the uh, uh, middle part of the last century had torsion bars. And the benefit is it's a nice, soft, tight ride. And that's what I really like. I had a 66 C10 and it had uh, springs all the way around and coil springs. and. Uh, it didn't ride as nice as this one does. It could be just this is a tight truck, I don't know, but I wanted to stick with the torsion bars. What's interesting is there's two camps when it comes to torsion bars. People either love them or hate them, and I'm one of the ones that love them. Uh, Lynn doesn't, he's not driven my truck. He doesn't really uh, have an opinion one way or the other. A lot of people say replace it with a front end out of a later C10 and be done with it. That way you get a, a later model front end and you also get disc brakes. We're gonna put disc brakes on this. So we're going a different route. But um, what's interesting is the Hudson, I don't know if the Hudson Hornet had torsion bars, but I know the Terraplane did. And it got me thinking uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video and I was talking about car guys. And several years ago, I was at a car show out in New Mexico and I was looking at a uh, Cadillac with a Carmen, uh, it had an Italian body. I can't remember exactly which car it was, but I was looking at it, admiring it. And it was a guy standing there. He was looking at it, admiring it. And he started asking me questions. Turns out he was with the Peterson Museum and he was like a curator and he gave me his card and he said, hey, next time you're in Los Angeles, call me up. I'll get you in the basement. We have a private vault. This was before the uh, basement was open. Now it's open to the public, but uh, Steve McQueen had a, a Hudson Hornet and it's in the basement of the um, Peterson Museum in Los Angeles. So another interesting story about car guys. Here I am at a car show, looking at a car, admiring it and talking to a guy. And, you know, I didn't know him from Adam. He didn't know me, but he gave me his business card. And, and a year later or so I was out, I called him. And he said, yeah, come on down and, and uh, I'll have someone meet you at the front desk and we'll take you downstairs. And so my wife and I went down and, and got a tour. And it all happens because car guys are really good people, cool people. It doesn't matter your uh, station in life. So anyway, that's what this video is about. I know I'm rambling, but I, I wanted to tell that story. So we're breaking this down. And in the next video, you're gonna see the gas tank frame that Lynn stick built. He tacked it together. Now what he's gonna do is weld it and clean it up and then prime it, paint it, and uh, get it ready for installation. So I appreciate you watching. The fee is a thumbs up. If you got any value out of this, if you got uh, share it with someone, if you learned something, if you didn't know anything about torsion bars or you like, Leave a comment below. Do you like torsion bars? Do you dislike torsion bars? Uh, did you even know about torsion bars? Leave a comment below. Greatly appreciate the support and enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks.